The day has finally come. People are here to attack Keith Lee. And it's crazy because Keith Lee has done nothing but mind his business, visit restaurants, and even change people's lives with the impact that his social media influence has. Frankenson's restaurant is getting some major sh- Here's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Call me a hater. I don't give a fuck. I don't like the nigga. You don't get on the air and say fast food or restaurants is food hacks and food this, food that, food bullshit. There's structure in this food niche. Like, I don't know. Call me a hater. I'll gladly wear that hat. You is not a food critic, though. You don't go around here testing fast food and giving it to other people. You want to know why? Health issues. HIPAA. Whatever the fuck E. coli has to do with any of these shits, nigga. We don't need a motherfucker from the hood who know nothing about food palates and shit like that to really be, you know, up in these other locations that know nothing about health shit either. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Am I the only one sitting here saying, like, why don't he do the Gordon Ramsay route if you want to be such of a food reviewer? You want to know why? Because it's fucking hard. It's some education you need to do with it. Okay. Yeah, the niggas is not going to turn on him. The internet too fake. Shine, and it's all thanks to this video posted on TikTok. This is one of the best wings I've ever had. This is a 10. Our phone never stopped ringing. I sold more lemon pepper wings in the last two days than I have in the last four months. I made more garlic knots yesterday than I've ever made. Lee's review on TikTok captured the attention of people all over the world. Boy. And reflects the power of social media. People coming in from Iowa, people from California. I had a family come up from Lake Havasu. I had people come down. This, this, like, this, this great for the food, like, I guess the food scene. You got people influencing marketing your food. It ain't mean they food reviewers. They literally just marketing your menu. Going there, trying the menu out, giving their opinion, and marketing your menu. And I ain't really giving like a full palace, a list of things as to why this flavor is better than that flavor, nigga. That is a food critic. That is why when food critics walk the fuck in, they make sure they have the best meal. Not not like uh, Keith Lee type shit where they have the meal ready for them. No, they make sure that the best chef is in that bitch and everyone in there is good too. Not no fast food shit. I know them niggas is not really caring if Keith Lee come up there, bro. They just want to make sure that he don't leave with the Instagram photo and some, and some shit. Gordon Ramsay pull up in that bitch. It don't matter how much cameras is on. Gordon is going to go in the back kitchen. He going to see what y'all making in there and who the chef is. That's the first person he going to check in with. I don't see none of these food influencers checking in with no one in the back. Y'all don't got no credentials. That's why. I'm from Utah. The video has now been viewed more than 18 million times and liked by more than 4 million people. Now, I shouldn't have to go too deep into who Keith Lee is and what he stands for. His main thing is giving restaurants constructive criticism. And that's an emphasis on constructive criticism. He's not there to tear anybody down or bash anybody, but really tell the truth and point out ways that people can improve on the process. But if there's one thing that black folks can't handle, it is for sure a fact constructive criticism. Now, Keith Lee's had a few food tours that have went bad, most notably in... Nah, yeah, they did, they did. They, they, one thing, I'll be wrong when I'm wrong. Food tours. Congrats to Keith, I guess. What you gonna call it? Yeah, we don't handle criticism too much. I had told Denny's they shit wasn't it, and they was ready to take my whole video channel down. In the Bay Area and in Atlanta, my home city, and for reasons that are very valid, because I've went to those restaurants that Keith Lee went to before Keith Lee went to them, and trust me, they were bad. Even one of the restaurants that he went to that was on the list was near my home, and it do you see what I'm talking about? I just said this shit earlier. These niggas are getting up and promoting bad restaurants, and these niggas are shaping up later on. Like, that ain't no fool critic. Gordon Ramsay would never get up here and give a fucking one-star restaurant a four-star. You feel me? And then have them improve over time because of the, the, the influx of people come no nigga food don't work like that you either good or you not my nigga these influences are not supposed to be the ones making up the meal that ass you're supposed to be the one cooking it up not not having another nigga tell another nigga this meal is good Whoa. Kind of fell off even after Keith Lee came through. But this time, Keith Lee being in D.C. has people up in arms. Because in this video, he says it's too hard to find restaurants in D.C. and they focus too much on alcohol. Watch. 
One thing I will say about DC, it's been very hard to find restaurants in my opinion. All the restaurants are geared directly towards alcohol. Gordon Ramsay would never have this problem. Bobby Fue would never have this problem. The best food reviewer, the YouTube channel, would never have this problem. I could, could go, I could, I could go on. Mr. Wang would never have this problem. I, I'm in the food scene, so I already know the head honchos who would not have a problem finding food. Like, you know how dumb that sounds? You can't find a restaurant and you're a food reviewer? Bitch, what? That's like a basketball scene, a basketball player saying, I don't know how to dribble and you're in the NBA. Nigga, figure it the fuck out. No one gives a fuck if you can't find a restaurant. That's your job, though. That ain't my job. That ain't your job to tell the social media either. Yo, these food, the food scene whack. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, this shit whack, bro. <laughs> if you don't drink, it seems like it's slim pickings. I'm talking about everything. Alcohol, bottomless, topless. Hurry up and get over here if we got drinks. I don't drink, so I'm hungry. It is important to know that this is his general experience so far, but a lot of people did not appreciate on what he said. Here's some of the comments you see on that post. His energy seems so catty, never understood why he's such a big deal. And this person saying, Lord, he drains the F out of me. We have this person blaming the Taraji P. Henson mess why he's acting this way lately. <laughs> but yeah, if you just keep scrolling through the comments, a lot of people have turned on Keith Lee. But there are also people who agree with him. This person saying alcohol has completely ruined the DMV. And we have this person saying that people are trend hopping, hating on him. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I feel Keith Lee in this situation because Atlanta is going through a similar type of situation. A lot of people have abandoned the idea of building a good quality restaurant and have opted in for creating some. No, I don't agree. I don't agree. I go on his video and, I, and I'm gonna end it right here. Cause I, I, if I don't agree with you two minutes into the video, then the other eight minutes I ain't gonna agree with you either. You feel me? So I'm gonna do myself a service. I don't agree with your comments, my nigga. If it is that hard for you to get up and make a restaurant and you can't provide a unique experience, that is the only motherfucking reason the DMV has that much liquor, bro. That is the experience Washington brings to you. That is the experience. You gonna get mimosas at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m. Nigga, you might catch it all day in the DMV. You better eat though. You better find a food spot. That don't mean that's that that is a unique experience if you want a food tour. That is not a reason for you to say there's no restaurants. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you is a food critic. Y'all niggas out here is giving Keith Lee and all these other food critters the benefit of the doubt because they not talented in their niche. Nigga, you in food. What the fuck do you mean you can't find a restaurant? Find it, nigga. What the fuck? Yo, how, how the fuck are you supposed to have niggas who is from Washington, D.C. respect your critiques if you can't even find a place to critique? You 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 doing everyone a disservice, Keith. And, and I think it's the Taraji shit too. I'm out of here. Shit, what?